Let's see if I can hold my hand steady enough to show you how I converted this thank you that I pulled off of the internet a while ago. I was just going through my files here and found this um, thank you in there that obviously I had stored some time ago. So I converted it to a path so I can um, be able to cut it out on some cardstock and put it on a card. Um, so I'm going to just take it. and put it on a new page and show you what I did. I'll actually even make it bigger. Now this file is act, it has a border around it which I had just taken and uh, made the lines uh, no line around the edges but there is a border there. So I needed to uh, trace the image in order to get just the letters. So my trace window is already open because I just did it. So I select trace highlight the image I'm gonna take my high pass filter off so that I can get the most of the dark areas and I am going to enlarge this so I can see a little bit better while I um, work on the threshold and this just is going to give me some nice solid or I guess more defined lines like around the edges the curves and everything and I think that looks pretty good I'm turn the scale down a little bit and then I'm going to trace I do a lot of trace and detach but for this one I'm just gonna hit trace um, trace and detach I do a lot when I uh, bring images in that are like um, animations like you know colors or animals or people um, and that kind of thing and I want to get all of the design that's on them but for this one it's just the word so all I needed was the trace so I click on the actual black part and pull it away and as you can see I have a really pretty trace there so when I go to cut it it's gonna cut where all the red lines are everything will be together otherwise and I'll get one nice cut um, and for me this will probably go on a standard size card so I will um, before cutting it I will size it down so that it fits you know like either across the bottom of a card or maybe right in the center of a standard A2 size card or something and um, yeah, then I'll cut it out. And I think that's so cute. I love all of that, uh, the swirlies in there. Um, kind of reminds me of the Samantha font. I don't know if this is a Samantha font or not. This is how it was when I found it online. Um, I own the Samantha font, but haven't uh, played with it enough to know what it looks like when I see it. So who knows, but it's very pretty. <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's just a little something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, not my silhouette tutorial, uh, silhouette Saturdays, but I could make it my silhouette Saturdays. Although I did do a video, um, I'm just trying to get it to upload. I've been having a little bit of an issue with my software yesterday. I don't know why, uh, it, it wasn't loading or something the way that it should. So I don't know, but I'm going to share this with you now because I'm doing it on my phone. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Happy new year.